know who I'm talking to, but sometimes you'll find yourself being the last one on the list to be blessed. But I don't care about being last. I just thank God I'm on the list. I don't care if I don't get the house as fast as Sandra. I just thank God that I'm on the list. I don't care if I don't get all that I want right now. Just to look at your neighbor. Look them in the eyeballs and say, neighbor, I want you to know there's a blessing and being on the list. It don't matter where your position on the list. Just as I teach y'all to tap somebody and say, just as long as you're on the list. I got to get out of here. We've kept you long. But before I leave, I want you to know now that you know you're on the list, your praise ought to look different. Now that you know you're on the list, your commitment ought to now that you know you're on the list, your talk with God ought to look different. You ought not talk to God from a space of contention, but you ought to be able to talk to God from a space of expectation. What the devil want to do is rob you of your expectation. Point at your brother or sister and say, neighbor, that's why the devil is working your nerves now. That's why the devil is slapping your name now that's why the devil is dogging your family out now that's why the devil is working in your business now it's because he don't like that you finally realize that I'm excited about things that are going wrong how can I be excited about stuff that's going wrong because every time things go wrong in my life it's a sign that God is setting me up for the biggest comeback of a lifetime. I want to give y'all this and I'm going to take my seat when things are going wrong. God is allowing an audience to be built for your sake. Y'all ain't catch it. Things are going wrong. He's allowing an audience to be built. There's naysayers they're standing around and they're hoping and they're believing that you gon' fail they're praying and they're plotting that you gon' throw in the towel but what y'all don't know that is only a setup I said what you don't know is that a setup look at your neighbor and say neighbor it's a setup some of y'all almost retreated because the audience that seen your persecution the audience that seen your downfall the audience that seen your circumstance it got bigger the more they talked the more the audience got bigger your friends was in the audience your family was in the audience your cousins was in the audience but what they didn't know God allowed the audience because he had another plan the plan was not to kill you it was not to persecute you it was to gather your foes it was to gather everybody around so that when he blessed you he blessed you in front of people that said you weren't going to make it. I stopped by here to tell somebody your blessing is about to shock the hell out of your naysayers. I said your blessing is about to shock everybody that said you wouldn't survive it. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor, nan and a boo boo. I didn't just survive it. I made it in one piece. I didn't just survive it. I made it out with my mind. I know you remember when you seen me. I had this car, but when I made it out, I didn't have it. About that, but I'm driving better. I said, I'm driving. Better than I was before. 
My family is living better. My kids is living better because God prepared a table in the presence of my enemies. I came, I said, I came to tell somebody. Look at me, brother. I came to tell somebody this is your time. This is your season. God is working in your favor. Hang on in there. Grab your neighbor. Grab him by the hand. Say, neighbor, hang in there. You don't, I said, you don't have an option to give up. You don't have an option to turn around. You've come this far by faith and giving up is not I said giving up is not a part of the plan. Say it. Say it. Say it. God told me this is your season of comeback. This is your season. I prophesy you're going to turn around and see what everybody said was impossible. They wonder why I'm still on the third floor in the 40th building. Because God is not blessing determined of membership. He's blessing determined of assignment. Tell somebody, stay in your assignment. Don't let nobody tell you you don't got enough people. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't good enough. You're wasting your time because what God can do by himself can measure farther than a thousand that can try. Who can stand before me when I call on that name? Jump on your feet and shout it, yeah. Clap it till you know God can feel it. Look at your neighbor and say, he built a table. He prepared a table, come on. I said, look at somebody you didn't come here with, said he prepared a table in the presence of my enemy. In the presence of my enemy. In the presence of my enemy. In the presence. He prepared it. I need somebody with your spirit to start making the table. Lay the place down. Fold the napkins. Prepare the fork and the spoon. Because while you hate, I'm gonna be eating. He prepared the table in the presence of my enemies. He prepared the table. Oh, 
you got to get it in your spirit. When you begin to get it in your spirit, what's fighting you won't feel like a fight. I came to tell all of my haters, you might as well give up. He laid his hand on me. He laid his hand on me. Pat yourself on the chest and say, he laid his hand on me. He laid hand on me. He laid hand on me. He laid hand on me. Hand on me.